Uh, well, hello, uh, and welcome to live programming here at the More Freedom Foundation. Uh, I have a list of things to go through. Um, they are, uh, we'll go through them, um, but obviously uh, I don't think anybody can talk or think or care about anything other than what's happening in Gaza right now. Um, I, I mean, I think if you're a patron of this YouTube channel, I think you probably have a pretty good idea of what's going on there. Um, I've always been really leery of using terms like uh, genocide um, with Israel-Palestine. Um, and I'm not like 100% sure that that's what applies right now, but um, getting pretty close. Um, it's, um, yeah, I mean, I just tweeted, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful day here in New York City um, everybody's out uh, training for their uh, marathons. Uh, I think the New York City Marathon is next weekend, I think, or maybe, uh, and so everybody's out um, doing their big 20 mile prep runs. Um, it's gorgeous. I was just sitting outside in t shirt and shorts. Uh, um, the, uh, the, you know, the, the leaves are on the ground, but it's June weather. And I can't help but wonder, is like, is this what it felt like in Belgrade uh, during, during Srebrenica? Um, is this what it, you know, what it felt like in, in the Serbian capital city as um, the Serbs were paying for a, uh, for a massacre um, that everybody, I think, rightly calls genocide? Um, yeah, I, don't, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I am not good. Um, but I'm privileged, frankly, like I have, um, uh, I get to actually talk about this. Uh, one of the most um, pernicious things about um, the way that Israel-Palestine politics works in the United States is that really there is some scope for talking about it, um, but nobody can talk about it now. Um, the attacks on October 7th, as I think I warned at the time, like really released the only governor on Israeli actions. Um, there's a common misconception that, uh, you know, the United States pays all this money uh, for Israel to be more brutal, but really we pay all this money and Iron Dome and everything for them to be less brutal and for, for um, us to have like some say in what they uh, what they do um, with the attacks on October seventh, that governor was almost in completely removed. Um, it's a weird thing. Uh, the um, uh, um, certainly, uh, as I've documented on the channel over the past decade the sort of unthinking, unquestioning support for Israel in the United States has broken down in major ways. Uh, folks are um, more and more aware of just how unbalanced this conflict is, more and more appalled by it, but the fucking geriatrics we have in charge in this country still think it's, you know, 2002. Um, and they are behaving in that manner. Um, and they are being facilitated in that behavior by a sort of large orthodoxy at the top that, you know, might have been breaking down and having some questions before October 6th um, and now uh, believes and is trying to put into law that any questioning of um, Israel or the Israeli government's actions is anti-Semitism and uh, should be condemned. I don't think, you know, we still have the First Amendment in the United States. In the long term, this is not going to be a successful effort on their parts. Um, but uh, the long term doesn't really matter to Gaza right now. Um, the, uh, um, yeah, um, the, the, you know, I don't think Gaza is going to be completely wiped out. I think that the northern half of Gaza... 
uh, which include or third or whatever you know fraction it ends up being in the Israeli buffer zone uh, is likely going to include Gaza City, the most densely part uh, occupied part of Gaza. Um, people are being murdered there by the thousands, civilians, um, maybe with like a sprinkling of Hamas people on the top, but they're much safer than the civilians. Um, and uh, folks are just going to have to leave those parts of Gaza. Um, that's happening now. That's going to continue happening for the next week or so. At some point, this fever will break. Um, I think people are uh, becoming more and more aware of what is happening, but it's not going to stop it. Um, so we're just like Mosul, like um, what we did to Iraq when we conquered it. We're just not gonna, we're just not gonna talk about it at all, um, and. Uh, we're just going, and there's not going to be, you know, I'm, you know, the United Nations General Assembly, God bless it, is is uh, making all kinds of resolutions, and there'll be some sort of half-hearted investigations, but they won't take place uh, in the new, in New York. They won't be funded by the United States. Um, no one's going to pay attention to it. Uh, so this is, yeah, no, this is a, this is a really, really, really horrific war crime um, that is being committed. Um, by the United States. Um, I've seen a lot of uh, question people, people questioning, um, can I possibly vote for Joe Biden after this? Um, and if the alternative is Trump, I, I'd like to believe that I guess I could. Um, but I mean, it's, it's like we are drowning in blood here. Um, it is completely unnecessary. It is not going to uh, reach any of the, the, the Israeli aims that the U.S. government talks about. And Hamas is still going to be there. Um, Hamas has leadership, or at least political leadership, in Qatar, just sort of waiting uh, for this horror uh, to get so high that Israel has to stop. Um, and then there'll be some kind of negotiation and new status quo. Um, but there's going to be a new, new status quo with um, uh, uh, another you know, tens of thousands of Palestinians dead, murdered, death from above, um, and hundreds of thousands, if not a, a full million, um, Gazans displaced. Uh, people do talk about this as the new Nakba, the new, the new catastrophe, uh, calling back to the 1948 um, um, expulsion of Palestinians uh, from places that they'd lived uh, for generations, um, and this is this is this is not but part two, um, and it's horrible. Um, and it's uh, there was a great tweet I saw yesterday. Is everyone's just sort of assuming that oh, this is just going to be the run of the mill. Israeli brutality that we're all accustomed to and now, you know, 10x more Palestinians will be killed than Israelis and then we'll just go back to the horrific status quo and we will go back to, I think, most likely unless we get like a regional war, which honestly at this point we fucking deserve. Um, like, uh, though that's a stupid thing to say because uh, of course it won't be uh, American suffering. It'll be. It won't even really be Iranian suffering. It'll be primarily Iraqis and Syrians uh, again suffering. Um, so we still definitely don't want a regional war. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just really dark, folks. <laughs> I don't really. Uh, um, I guess I guess we should get back into the list of, of world events. Um, I don't know if anybody has anything clever to say here. Um, I think Loga uh, made the very valid point um, that you know I, I use the the reference to the, the disintegration of Yugoslavia, talking about how um, this is this is must what it feels like to enjoy a sunny, beautiful day in Belgrade as uh, Srebrenica is being wiped off the map, um, and. Uh, Logo pointing out that, yeah, this is what, what it must feel like uh, in Moscow, um, uh, going about your daily life uh, while, um, uh, while the Russian military is, is committing massive, massive war crimes. Um, 
it's incredibly dark. Uh, I don't. Uh, I wish I had. Um, wish I had more to say about it, but there's just not um, anything positive about this. Uh, I have sped for years. I don't like talking about Israel-Palestine because it's a country that's future is darker than really any other place, you know, Afghanistan or Somalia or, um, or uh, I expected uh, eventually some kind of mass um, ethnic cleansing uh, or series of massacres against the Palestinians. I did not expect it this soon. Um, you can see why Netanyahu has always preferred Hamas. Um, the, the Israeli government, the worst elements of the Israeli government have always preferred Hamas to the Palestinian Authority. They've always preferred the Palestinians that um, continue to fight um, to the ones that have tried uh, for the past 20 years to achieve some kind of um, peaceful coexistence. Um, because this is letting uh, Hamas provided the excuse for Israel to do um, what the worst elements of Israeli government and society have wanted to do for decades, um, and we're seeing it. Um, it's key to point out that it, the, these crimes are not just happening in Gaza, um, they're happening in the West Bank as well, where there is still a Palestinian authority that works closely with the United States and Israel. Um, they're not happening on the same scale in the West Bank yet. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty crappy. Um, we got nine people here. Anybody got anything else to contribute? Um, I don't, uh, I'd love to interact. Anybody else got anything to say? Or should we just move on to our list of um, other news events this month? Seems kind of pointless. Sorry, guys. I you know wanted to be more happy and hip and with it, but uh, it is. Uh, it's funny. I think I'm you know gleefully smiling in the thumbnail um, for this video, which is uh, poor advertising. Um, anyway, okay. Uh, U.S. Iran fighting in Syria. Um